movement directly back to that rigging. Real visual. Parking a rise on the scale of 125. We're calling a rise. 125 for the tree of bucket. Animal is our cowboy. We got him set and ready. How about let's go bareback ride? Ooh, this is looking good. Looking good. Come on. Uh oh. Mark, we talked about it. You heard it in the opening video about the bareback riding. The rules are you must have your feet over the brake of the horse's shoulders, heels in, toes out, spurs touching. Or it is a missed mark out and a no score. We see yellow flags on the ground. We're going to set Matthew down. And unfortunately, it's all going to be for nothing. We're no score with Matthew Smith. He was 78 in quarter last night. Let's take a look now. Next Cowboy to ride. We're going to College Grove. Back to it. To the Purina Bucking Shoot. College Grove, Tennessee. Houston Herbert, an eight-time qualifier to the International Finals Rodeo. 2015 bareback riding rookie of the year. Edric Rodeo Company. Danny Edric in the crew. Come out of the great state of Tennessee. Send us a horse with Paul Weir Dallas. Let's try to ride. Come on. Come on. 72 and a half leads. Here's a chance to challenge it. Oh, -hoo. started the time clock is up there in the upper right hand corner of that replay screen of the big screen it stopped at 7.6 seconds resulting in a no score for college Grove, tennessee and the former rookie of the year let's take a look at the new bar station take pap sicky your next cowboy to ride a next generation cowboy he watched his daddy Matt Pat Sigi ride bareback horses right here at the International Finals Rodeo, and now the next generation is making his way. Let's go down to Rockmark, Georgia, with Robin Brooks and Southern Rodeo Company, our newly crowned Stock Contractors of the Year. Congratulations to Robin Brooks and Southern Rodeo. Night moves the bugging horse. Let's go. The youngster is making it work. Help him out. Now your love's picked up in. They're gonna move in. They strip the horse clean. He's gonna get his hand out of there. He's gonna come right off on him. Hold your applause. We're gonna round this corner, string him back out. You watch that replay screen. Everything looks good. Tate was 66 last night. Cumberland Furnace, Tennessee is on the ground in front of you, ladies and gentlemen, as scores come in for Tate Pepsi. Board to send the money right now. We take a look. Let's go, Luke Herbert, College Grove, Tennessee. You met his brother earlier. It's Dream Catcher of the Hanson Rodeo Company. Oh, Luke Herbert, our bareback riding director of International Professional Rodeo, an eight time qualifier to the finals, and a horse that has been featured here several times as well. College Grove, Tennessee teams up with the Arkansas Paint Bucking Horse. Both scores are coming in for Luke Herbert of College Grove, Tennessee. Hey, we're 76 and a half points, 76 and a half for Luke Herbert on two. We're fairly Oklahoma. Lane Ellison, Peter, your next cowboy to ride. Last night was on fire. 77 one half in round number one. OG and E brings Hampton Rodeo's Cool Thunder. Of course, we've seen the International Finals Rodeo on multiple occasions. We've got him set and ready to ride. Lane Ellison, Peter. Cool Thunder, the bugging horse. We gotta go. 77 to the lead. We got him set and ready. Nod your head, cowboy. We want to see a bareback ride. I watched Lane Nelson Peter win all three rounds in the aggregate at the Central Region Tour Finale Finals. Watch this rookie keep hustling. That is what we need to see all night. Now, the round of Oklahoma and the rookie is on the ground at this time. Do me a favor. Hey, he about 27 years of age in his first international finals rodeo. This young man had an outstanding 2023 season. Hey, hey, it's a big time just cowboy to ride. Hey, Tony Shaw, bring the gas with their short. Bring us friendly fire. Another outstanding bucket animal. Here's a cowboy who's in the airport anytime. Wow, Western. 
the head rodeo coach at Murray State. What do you think Tate Papsinki is considering continuing his education? My question is, does Tate Papsinki have any other option but to ride bucking horses and go to school doing it? I promise you one thing, any school that has him will be lucky to have it. Oh yeah, Tate Papsinki, that Cumberland Furnace, Tennessee man, comes in here as a rookie to loves travel stops and country stores. It's Night Latch of Pond Hill Pro Rodeo. What can we do with Cumberland Furnace, Tennessee at this time? It looks like we'll be in the top spot with 82 and three quarters. Where can we put Tate Papsinki here in round number two? It's time to find out. Here we go. Come on, Tate. It's working. Yeah. 